Welcome to yoga. I'm Liza. Our class today will be a 30 minute practice that will focus on loosening up the body, especially the spine and the hips, help to calm and settle the mind and prepare you for the rest of your day. We will begin in child's pose. So begin by making your way onto the hands and knees, making sure you've got space around you. And as you come onto the hands and knees, begin by spreading the fingers wide, bringing the hands underneath the shoulders, feet and knees are about hips width apart. And send, send the bottom back to the heels. And you can keep the head and chest lifted and long, or you could relax the forehead to the mat. You're welcome to close the eyes. And take a deep breath in through the nose and then exhale through the mouth, releasing a sigh. <sighs> and again, inhaling. Exhale. And once more. And now breathing deeply in and out through the nose. And inviting the mind to stay focused on the breath and the sensations in the body as you breathe. Feeling an expansion through the torso on each inhalation and a softening on the exhale. See if you could send the breath into the back of the body as you breathe. And throughout the class, if anything I'm leading doesn't feel right to you, know that you're always welcome to modify or take a rest and change the practice in any way to best meet your needs, always being kind to your body. And now if you relax the forehead to the floor on your next inhalation, lifting through the head and the chest and lengthening. And now begin to walk the hands over to your the right side of your mat. And you could come to the edge of the mat or you could keep going, deepening into the side stretch, finding a comfortable place. Feeling a sense of lengthening through the left side of the body. Keeping that deep breath in and out through your nose. And holding where you are for another full deep breath in and out through the nose. And then on your next inhalation, begin to walk the hands back to center. And pausing at center to notice and receive how does one side of the body feel in relation to the other. And now beginning to walk the hands to the left side of your mat. You can either come just to the edge or perhaps go a little bit further, finding a comfortable side stretch here. Noticing where you're creating space in the torso and sending your breath into those spaces. And 
And one more full deep breath here. And now inhaling, walking the hands back to center once again, taking your time. And from here, lifting up into a table position. And in table, you're welcome to rest on the palms, on the elbows, or you can make fists, whichever option feels best for you. And if the wrists are tender, you may want to stay on the fist or the elbows. If you are on the hands, place the wrist underneath the shoulders, spreading the fingers wide, keeping a slight bend in the elbows. Knees are right underneath the hips, tops of the feet resting on the floor. Lengthen through the spine by extending the tailbone and the crown of the head away from one another. Expand and broaden through the chest and move the shoulders down the back. We'll move next into cat and dog to loosen up and warm up the spine. As you next inhale, lift the tailbone, drop the belly, broaden through the chest, gazing ahead or upward, coming into dog stretch. And then as you exhale, draw the tailbone under, round the spine and bring the chin in towards the chest, coming into cat. Again, inhaling, arching, lifting into dog. Exhale, round into cat. You're welcome to close the eyes or keep a soft gaze here as you prefer. Move at your own pace and coordinate the movement with your own breath. Inhaling as you lift and arch into dog. And then on the exhalation, using the full exhalation to round into cat. And moving once more from cat to dog. And then pausing here in a dog stretch. And now we'll circle the torso from the rib cage. So bringing the rib cage over to one side, rounding into cat, moving the rib cage over to the other side, and then arching into dog. Continue to make these circles starting from the rib cage. And then gradually expanding and moving the hips, shoulders, head, and neck into an organic movement of the spine. You can make the movements larger or smaller as feels right to you. And now pause and reverse and move the circles in the other direction. And now begin to make the movements a little bit slower and a little smaller. And finding your way back to neutral. And now bring the feet a little bit wider than hips width apart, preparing for a twist. Bringing your left hand in line with the center of your chest, sliding the right fingertips out to the side and then overhead, extending the arm straight up from the shoulder and looking up towards the fingertips. Now squeeze and release the fingers overhead. Stretching out the hands, releasing any pressure in the wrist. And now circle the hand and the fingers overhead. Moving in one direction and then reversing. And coming to stillness, reaching long through the fingertips, opening through the chest and the torso. And then exhaling slowly lower down. And placing that right hand in line with the center of the chest, extend the left arm up to the side and coming to twist in this direction. And again, squeeze the hand into a fist and then stretch the fingers wide overhead. And circle the wrists and fingers overhead. Reverse direction.
And come to stillness, reaching along through the fingertips. And then exhaling, slowly lowering down, returning to table. Bringing the hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And now extending your right leg back, bringing the ball of the foot to the floor and lifting the heel and begin to rock forward and back. Giving a stretch to the calf and the back of the leg here. And now coming to hold, pressing out through the heel, breathing into sensation. And on your next inhalation, lifting the leg so that the heel is extended straight back from the hip. And begin to circle that foot from the ankle. Moving the circles in one direction and then pausing to reverse. And now come to stillness, pressing out through the heel. We'll continue to warm up the leg as well as the core of the body. As you next inhale, bending the back knee in towards the chest or the forehead, and then exhaling, kicking the leg back, making sure you've got plenty of room around you here. Inhaling as the knee draws in, exhale, extend back. And if you like, you could pick up the pace, move a little faster, and, if, and on the exhalation, you could open the mouth and release a little sound here. And twice more. And holding the leg out behind you, keeping the heel in line with the hip, pressing out through the sole of the foot, broaden through the chest and move the shoulders down the back. We'll prepare next for a balance. Gazing at the floor ahead of you, pull the navel in towards the spine. And now begin to lift the left fingertips, walking the fingertips towards the front of your mat, and then lifting the arm and lengthening. So opposite arm and leg lifting. And imagine you're being gently pulled by the wrist and ankle in opposite directions, creating length through the spine. And if you're feeling wobbly, you can always return the hand to the floor and, and come in and out of the balance. Breathe here. One more full breath. And then as you next exhale, keep the back leg lifted as you lower the hand down to the mat. And now crossing the right foot over the left, bringing that right foot to the left edge of the mat, keeping the heel lifted as you lower the ball of the foot and then turn the head to look over your shoulder towards that leg that's behind you. And feel a lengthening through the right side of the body from the heel up through the hip, shoulder and out through the crown of the head. Keep breathing here. One more breath. And releasing, lifting that leg behind you and then stepping that foot forward, coming into a low lunge, bending the knee in line with the ankle, resting the fingertips on the floor and sliding the back knee a little closer to the rear of your mat. Giving a stretch to the front of that back thigh. Open through the chest and relax your shoulders. And on your next inhalation, straightening the front leg a little or a lot, allowing the toes to lift. And then exhale, bending the knee, returning to the low lunge. And moving gently back and forth, following your breath. Inhaling as you straighten the leg and exhaling as you bend. And the next time that you bend the knee, returning to your low lunge, pausing here, lifting the chest and relaxing the shoulders. And as you next inhale, lift one 
hand at a time to the front thigh and bring the torso up into a low lunge, bringing the hands to the hips. And draw down through the tailbone, pull the navel in towards the spine, relax the shoulders. And now release the arms and coming into cactus arms, bending at the elbows. Palms are about in line with the shoulders, palms facing ahead of you. Draw the shoulder blades together, relax the shoulders down, giving a stretch through the chest. And now inhaling, bringing the arms overhead, reaching long through the fingertips, and then exhaling, hinge forward, returning to the low lunge, preparing now for a twisting variation. Bringing the right hand to the right hip, Open up the torso to the side. You're welcome to stay here, or if you like, you can extend the right arm straight up from the shoulder, palm face facing away from you. And you can keep the back knee on the floor, or if you like, coming onto the ball of the back foot, straightening the leg, coming into a high lunge variation. Choosing your option and breathing into the stretch. And one more full breath here. And then exhaling slowly, releasing down and stepping back to table. And from table, we'll release into puppy before moving on to the other side. Keeping the hips lifted, slide the arms forward and lower the forehead or chest to meet the mat. Close the eyes if it's comfortable for you. Keep breathing deeply in and out through the nose. And notice here how one side of the body feels in relation to the other. Noticing any sensations in the hips and spine. And as you next inhale, easing your way back up to the table. Preparing to repeat the sequence on the other leg. So resting on the palms or on the elbows, broaden through the chest and move the shoulders down the back. And now coming on to your other side, extending your left leg back, bringing the ball of the foot to the floor and lifting the heel. And rock forward and back. And now coming to hold, pressing out through the heel, breathing into sensation. As you next inhale, lift the leg so that the heel is in line with the hip and circle the foot at the ankle. Moving in one direction and then reversing. And come to stillness, pressing out through the heel. We'll move into strengthening and warming up the core as well as the leg. On your next inhalation, bending the back knee, drawing the knee in towards the chest or the forehead, and then exhale, extending that leg back. Again, inhaling, drawing the knee in, exhale, extend back. And you could keep breathing in and out through the nose, or as you Exhale and extend the leg back. You can open the mouth, maybe let out a little sound. And twice more. And now extending that leg long and holding. Keep broadening through the chest, move the shoulders down the back, keeping a soft bend in the elbows. Flex out through the foot. Engaging that back leg and pull the navel towards the spine. And fix your gaze on a spot on the floor ahead of your mat to steady your gaze and attention as we prepare to come into the balance on this side. So preparing now to lift your opposite arm, coming onto the fingertips of the right hand and begin to walk that hand towards the front of your mat. 
and then ease into the balance, extending the arm at shoulder height. So keeping the back heel, the hips, the shoulders, and the extended wrist in one line, reaching long, breathing. And Maurice always fine to come in and out of the balance if you need to. remaining here for one more full deep breath if that's available. You know, keeping the back leg lifted as you release the right hand down to the floor. And we'll move now into the side stretch. So now crossing that left foot over to the right side of your mat, releasing the ball of the foot to the floor, keeping that heel lifted and pressing out through that back heel. Keep the shoulder blades moving down the back, shoulders away from the ears, soft bend in the elbows. Breathing deeply and feel a sense of lengthening here from the heel to the hip through the shoulders and lengthening through the crown of the head as you gaze past your right shoulder. Remaining here for one more full deep breath. And on your next inhalation, lifting the back leg, extending that leg behind you, and then bending the knee into the chest and stepping forward into the low lunge on this side. I feel like you could lift the back knee coming onto the ball of the foot and then slide that knee closer to the rear of your mat to deepen the stretch in the right thigh. Resting on the fingertips, hands are underneath the shoulders. Now we'll bend and straighten this leg. So on your next inhalation, straightening the front leg, lifting the toes. You can straighten the leg a little or a lot, easing into the movement. And then exhale, bending the knee, returning to the lunge. Just moving back and forth, loosening up the leg and the hip. And then the next time you bend the knee coming into the lunge, holding here. On your next inhalation, lifting one hand at a time to the front thigh, lifting the torso and bringing the hands to the hips. Lengthen evenly through the abdomen and the lower back. Drawing the tailbone down, hips are facing forward, relax the shoulders. And now release the arms and press the arms back, flexing through the fingertips. Pressing the fingertips back, stretching the hands and fingers. Opening and broadening through the chest. Keeping the shoulders down and away from the ears. One more breath here in this variation. And as you next inhale, reaching the arms overhead, shoulders drawing down, and then exhaling, lowering the arms down to frame the front foot. Come onto the ball of the back foot and straighten that leg for the high lunge, or you could keep the back knee on the floor and we'll move into the twisting variation. So pressing the right hand into the floor, left hand to the left hip, and twisting in the direction of your front bent knee. You're welcome to keep the hand on the hip for support, or perhaps extend that arm straight up from the shoulder, palm facing away from you. Keep 
lengthening through the arms, opening through the chest. And then as you exhale, releasing down to the high lunge or low lunge. And stepping back now to plank or to table. And now if you're in plank, lowering the knees to the floor. And now bring the knees a little bit wider than hips width apart, bringing the feet together, preparing for child. Lowering the bottom to the heels. And you have a few options here in, in, in child pose. You can keep the arms reaching overhead. The head can hover away from the floor, or if it's comfortable, you can release the forehead to the mat. Or another option is to place one hand on top of the other, creating a cushion for the forehead, and then relax the forehead to rest on top of your hands. Feel free to make any micro movements or any adjustments to create more comfort and ease in the body. Making sure that the knees are wide enough apart so there's plenty of space for the breath to flow and for the belly to expand. And each time that you inhale, feel the belly and the back of the body expanding. And as you exhale, softening and releasing. Keep breathing deeply here in and out through the nose. And each time that you exhale, see where you could soften and release just a little bit more. As you inhale, inviting in peace and stillness. And as you exhale, letting go of negativity, stress, anxiety, doubt, fear. And each exhalation, letting go of anything that does not serve you in this moment. Holding here in child for another full deep breath. And now easing out of child, bringing the hands underneath the shoulders, pressing up to table. And then from table, swinging the legs around and coming to a seated position with the legs extended in front of you. Giving the legs a little shake from side to side, releasing. And now coming to sit in any way that is comfortable, perhaps keeping the legs extended or moving into a cross-legged position or coming to sit on the heels. Sitting tall, grounding through the sitting bones, broadening through the chest and relaxing the shoulders down. Bringing the hands to prayer position in front of the heart and dropping the chin to the chest Closing the eyes or gazing very softly downward. Take a moment to scan the body, mind, breath. Noticing what has changed for you. And 
and reflect on a quality that you've cultivated here in your practice that you could bring with you into your day. Om Shanti, peace. May the peace in our hearts bring peace into the world. Very softly allow the eyes to open and lift the gaze. Namaste. I honor the light in you. Thank you for joining me for this yoga practice. You're welcome to join me live on Zoom Wednesday mornings at 7 a.m. Or you could catch my videos here on the Springfield College YouTube channel. I hope you have a great day.